The M1 Abrams tank stands as a testament to American military might. It is a symbol of power and technological prowess. This iconic war machine is named after General Creighton Abrams, a distinguished military leader who served with honor in World War II and the Vietnam War. The M1 Abrams embodies General Abrams' commitment to excellence. This essay will delve into the history, capabilities, and significance of this formidable tank. The M1 Abrams is a third-generation main battle tank. It has been in service with the United States Armed Forces since 1980. Over the decades, the Abrams has undergone numerous upgrades. These upgrades ensure it remains at the forefront of armored warfare technology. The M1 Abrams is renowned for its exceptional firepower, advanced armor, and impressive mobility. These features make it a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. The Abrams has seen action in multiple conflicts, including the Gulf War, the Iraq War, and the war in Afghanistan. Its performance in these conflicts has solidified its reputation as one of the most capable tanks ever built. The M1 Abrams is more than just a weapon. It is a symbol of American military strength and resolve. The M1 Abrams is a complex and sophisticated machine. It is the result of decades of research, development, and innovation. This essay will explore the tank's design, capabilities, and historical impact. We will examine its significance in modern warfare. Join us as we take a deep dive into the world of the mighty M1 Abrams. The development of the M1 Abrams was a long and arduous process, filled with numerous challenges and setbacks. It began in the 1960s with a joint project between the United States and West Germany, aiming to revolutionize armored warfare. The goal was to create a new main battle tank that would surpass anything in existence at the time. This tank would be called the MBT-70, a symbol of innovation and collaboration. The MBT-70 was an ambitious project, incorporating cutting-edge technology and design elements. It incorporated many advanced features, such as a sophisticated suspension system and a powerful engine. However, the project was plagued by cost overruns and technical challenges, which proved difficult to overcome. Ultimately, the MBT-70 was deemed too expensive and complex to produce, leading to its cancellation. Despite the failure of the MBT-70, the United States Army recognized the need for a new tank that could meet future battlefield requirements. The Soviet Union was developing increasingly advanced tanks, posing a significant threat during the Cold War. The U.S. needed a tank that could counter this threat and ensure battlefield superiority. In the early 1970s, the Army initiated the development of the XM-1, which would eventually become the M1 Abrams, a tank designed to meet these new challenges. The XM-1 program focused on creating a tank that was both technologically advanced and cost-effective, learning from past mistakes. The Army learned valuable lessons from the MBT-70 project, particularly in terms of cost management and technical feasibility. They applied these lessons to the development of the XM-1, ensuring a more streamlined and efficient process. The design of the XM-1 emphasized simplicity, reliability, and ease of maintenance, which were crucial for its operational success. These factors would prove crucial to the tank's success, making it a formidable force on the battlefield. The first production model of the M1 Abrams rolled off the assembly line in 1979, marking a significant milestone. It was a momentous occasion for the United States Army, as they finally had a tank that could match the capabilities of the Soviet Union's best. The Army finally had a tank that could match the capabilities of the Soviet Union's best, ensuring a balance of power. The M1 Abrams was a significant leap forward in tank technology, setting new standards for future designs. It incorporated a number of innovative features that set it apart from its predecessors, making it a game changer in armored warfare. These features included a powerful gas turbine engine, advanced composite armor, and a sophisticated fire control system, and a sophisticated fire control system, which together made the M1 Abrams one of the most formidable tanks in the world. The M1 Abrams is a large and imposing machine, a true behemoth on the battlefield. It weighs in at over 60 tons, making it one of the heaviest tanks in active service today. Its size and weight are a testament to the amount of armor and firepower it carries, ensuring it can withstand and deliver significant damage. The Abrams is powered by a 1,500 horsepower gas turbine engine, a marvel of engineering. This engine gives it a top speed of over 40 miles per hour, 
allowing it to keep up with the fast pace of modern warfare. The Abrams gas turbine engine is a key factor in its impressive mobility, enabling it to traverse various terrains with ease. It allows the tank to accelerate quickly and maneuver effectively on the battlefield, giving it a tactical edge. The Abrams hull and turret are protected by a layer of advanced composite armor, which is crucial for its survivability. This armor is designed to defeat a wide range of anti-tank weapons, providing robust protection against various threats. The exact composition of the Abrams armor is a closely guarded secret, adding to its mystique and effectiveness. However, it is known to incorporate layers of steel, ceramics, and depleted uranium, creating a formidable barrier. The Abrams armor has proven highly effective in combat, withstanding numerous attacks and keeping its crew safe. It has protected its crews from numerous enemy attacks, ensuring their safety in the heat of battle. The Abrams heart is its fire control system, a sophisticated suite of technology. This system allows the gunner to acquire and engage targets with great accuracy, even in challenging conditions. The fire control system uses a laser rangefinder, thermal sights, and a ballistic computer to calculate the correct firing solution, ensuring precision. The Abrams fire control system is one of the most advanced in the world, a true technological marvel. It gives the tank a significant advantage in combat, allowing it to dominate the battlefield. The M1 Abrams is a highly sophisticated machine, a blend of cutting-edge technology and robust engineering. It is a testament to the ingenuity of American engineers and the skill of American workers, a true symbol of technological prowess. The Abrams specifications and features make it one of the most capable main battle tanks ever built, a true powerhouse. It is a formidable weapon that has earned the respect of friend and foe alike, a true legend in modern warfare. Section 4. The Evolution of Firepower Armament Upgrades The M1 Abrams has undergone numerous upgrades throughout its service life, each designed to enhance its combat effectiveness and ensure it remains a formidable force on the battlefield. These upgrades have significantly enhanced its capabilities, allowing it to stay ahead of its adversaries and adapt to new threats and challenges. One of the most significant upgrades has been to its main gun, which has seen several iterations over the years. The original M1 Abrams was armed with a 105mm rifled cannon, a powerful weapon for its time. This gun was a powerful weapon, capable of taking on most threats it encountered during the early years of its deployment. However, as new threats emerged and adversaries developed more advanced armor, the Army recognized the need for a larger, more powerful cannon to maintain battlefield superiority. In the mid-1980s, the Army began fielding the M1A1 Abrams, an upgraded version of the tank. This upgraded version featured a 120mm smoothbore cannon a significant improvement over the original armament. The 120mm cannon was a significant improvement over the 105mm cannon, offering greater firepower and range. It fired more powerful ammunition and had a longer range, allowing the Abrams to engage and destroy enemy tanks from greater distances. The 120mm cannon gave the Abrams the firepower it needed to defeat any tank in the world, ensuring its dominance on the battlefield. In addition to the main gun, the Abrams is also armed with a variety of secondary weapons, each designed to enhance its versatility and combat effectiveness. These secondary weapons include a .50 caliber machine gun mounted on the commander's cupola, providing additional firepower against infantry and light vehicles. Additionally, a 7.62 millimeter machine gun is mounted coaxially with the main gun, allowing the tank to engage multiple targets simultaneously. The Abrams is also equipped with a smoke grenade launcher, which can create a smoke screen to obscure the tank's movements and provide cover during combat. The Abrams secondary weapons provide it with close-in defense against infantry and light armored vehicles, making it a versatile and formidable opponent in various combat scenarios. The Abrams armament has evolved significantly since it first entered service, reflecting the changing nature of warfare and the need for continuous improvement. The upgrades to its main gun and secondary weapons have ensured that it remains one of the most lethal tanks on the battlefield, capable of taking on any challenge. The Abrams firepower is a testament to the Army's commitment to providing its soldiers with the best equipment possible, ensuring they have the tools they need to succeed in any mission. Section 5. Speed and Agility Mobility on the Battlefield the M1 Abrams is a surprisingly agile tank for its size, 
It can reach speeds of over 40 miles per hour on roads and can traverse rough terrain with relative ease. The Abrams mobility is a key factor in its effectiveness on the battlefield. It allows the tank to quickly reposition itself, flank enemy forces, and exploit breakthroughs. The Abrams mobility is due in part to its powerful gas turbine engine. This engine provides the tank with a high power-to-weight ratio, allowing it to accelerate quickly and maintain high speeds. The Abrams suspension system also plays a role in its mobility. The suspension system is designed to absorb the shocks and vibrations of rough terrain, allowing the tank to maintain a smooth ride and keep its gun on target. The Abrams tracks are also designed for mobility. The tracks are wide and provide a large surface area in contact with the ground. This distributes the tank's weight over a larger area, reducing ground pressure and improving traction. The Abrams tracks also have a unique design that allows them to flex and conform to the terrain, further improving traction. The M1 Abrams mobility is a testament to the engineering that went into its design. It is a highly mobile tank that can keep pace with the fast-paced nature of modern warfare. The Abrams mobility is a key factor in its effectiveness on the battlefield.